The next video I am going to show is from the, my last video and was posted on the 14th. There are pulses of energy heading towards the sun. Hopefully one of these pulses doesn't hit the sun when this sunspot group is earth facing as it could send off a big flare. Mike from around the world called this and said there is other ways behind it. The sun's going to react to a pulse that's coming in right now. And about uh, Tuesday or Wednesday, it should hit the sun. The sun could actually send out a flare. And it's that solar minimum. But it could send out a sizable flare during that time. And it could so, happen in, you know, that, that's a matter of 24 hours. So, But you're uh, saying there's a pulse coming. There's a wave coming. The wave of energy coming is going to hit the sun. And we don't know Tuesday what. Tuesday or Wednesday. Tuesday or yep. Wednesday next week. And then yep. when that hits the sun, we don't know what the sun will do in reaction. Correct. I'm interested to see what it's going to do because this is a this is a fairly concentrated pulse of um, what, what was it? Well, I have to get into the details, but it was picked up as a specific type of, of um, particle coming in. I'm just interested to see. I don't know what it will do. I don't know what the interaction will be. One thing I will be doing is watching. We'll be watching. There are a lot more behind it, and that's why I'm going to be watching to see what it does. We'll be if watching. It's negligible good. If it's not, at least I'll know the timing of the next pulse is coming in. Next is the most recent five waves of energy notes. First, I want to skip to the sun part. The sun and the summer. This summer is going to be very different, and any inbound radiation particles are going to affect the sun, of course. Any concentration of these inbound particles are going to severely affect the sun people will start to notice a severe change in the sun's behavior, especially out of season, the sun's cycle will likely be interrupted. Once that cycle is disrupted, the earth will begin to undergo some changes itself. Eyes on the sun. Okay. Tilt, double wobble, pole shift, five waves of energy update. The earth will be tilted a bit more in such a strange way where weather will be reversed in opposites. There is a degree of change in the earth that's been happening the past or the last six years more than any other time. There is a change in this tilt and we have a process that's ongoing that will likely cause an internal double wobble. Because of that double wobble, that will cause California to sit in a northern type region, for example, so it's going to become colder there. You can watch this wobble taking place with the sundial and the sun shadow. If you analyze that over the course of a couple of years, you're going to notice this weird change. Right now, for the fifth year in a row, the shadow has been in a different position, which means by that change in the shadow to our proximity in the sun, you can tell the tilt of the earth. The one in Jerusalem is off by about 30 minutes as of three years ago, according to Paul Begley when he was there. The problem here is an abrupt change because it reaches a point where the changes are so fast and our infrastructure, infrastructure can't support a change that fast in the tilt. If anyone out there has studied a spinning sphere and they know about a double wobble, a double wobble is very damaging. It is something that's unavoidable. You have a natural tilt of the earth, but then you'll have an internal double wobble, meaning you're going to have a wobble within a wobble, and that's very damaging. That means, a, or that means it does not have to be abrupt to tear down buildings on the surface. Because of the tilt in the earth, the shadow is off. Also, we've been saying chemical plant explosions as a result of the five waves of energy, and there has been about seven large plant explosions in the past week alone. I know I went over the sun in the summer, but I'm going to quickly go back over that. This summer is going to be very different. Any inbound radiation particles are going to affect the sun, of course. Any concentration of these inbound particles are going to severely affect the sun. People will start to notice a severe change in the sun's behavior, especially out of season. The sun's cycle will likely be interrupted. Once that cycle is disrupted, the earth will begin to undergo some changes itself. Note, solar, solar minimum and solar maximum abruptly changing faster back and forth also. Eyes on the sun for coming changes in the sun's behavior. Extreme magnetic connection and magnetic influence. Remember from the last five waves of energy notes, that this causes people to become mad and easily irritated. It also, or it is also changing the way magnets work. The law of magnets are changing and some of the formulas are not working right anymore. The properties are changing and new forces are being inter introduced. We are still dealing with the third wave of energy, but we're getting hit with pulses. Later on this year, we're going to have an episode with one of these pulses. 
this pulse is unbelievable as far as what it's going to do and as far as some of the interactions go. Also, we're still watching the California volcanoes. They are building pressure and heating up. Uh, I suspect that because of uh, gravitational pull and things of that nature, wherever the ring exists at that point, right, when you spin something, uh, it's like spinning a top, right? If, uh, if you attach a string to a spinning top, that string's going to stick straight out. So call that the ring. Call that the, the line of maximum inertia or maximum force. Wherever that ring exists, whatever cities lie on that ring are going to be torn to shreds. And then you have the other cities, which will be uh, a little less damaged. And, of course, in the center, it's going to be quite stable. Well, right now, Jerusalem just so happens to be in that center. It is very odd in that region, in that proximity between Jerusalem and Egypt, is, is that center that won't uh, entail that much damage until the correctional wobble. Now, all of that is extracted from modeling done. Uh, it's just... You know, the modeling indicates the exact same thing over and over again. And based on these conditions we're going through, the modeling is, 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 is pretty accurate. And so um, you're looking at large scale um, movements in our continents. And I was, I was uh, well, a long time ago with the Navy, when they were talking about the water rising, one of the issues with the water rising, uh, one of the hidden issues had to deal with uh, an external gravitational force, which would cause this double wobble that they already know about. It's already been recorded, um, but we're about to go through that again. You know, that's not good. No, it's not good at all. And that's this. This is one of the older posts about the sun. The sun is going to change over the course of two years. When these cosmic rays come in, they're going to change the chemistry in the sun itself. So it's going to be very different and very hot. The sun is going to heat up so much that people will get blisters from the sun within minutes in some places. As the brightness of the sun increases, so will the heat. But also we're going to have a freeze, and now when this hot and cold mix, because of the turbulence within the earth, we're going to have winds like we've never seen before.